Hi guys, the Frugal Gal here. Uh, this is a little different video. This isn't about jewelry or any kind of frugal tips or anything. This is um, going to be a series of videos I'm going to do. I did a video and I'll link it up here on an iCard or here. You'll see a little eye and then you click on it and you'll see that you can go to the video about depression and how my depression looks. And you might want to start with that one. I do suffer from chronic um, or major depressive disorder. I'm wondering if it isn't chronic. But major depressive disorder. Um, I talk a little bit about that. I didn't know about how I would feel sharing it on my channel. But I had a lot of positive responses and replies from people who really thanked me. And they had the same problem. And congratulated me on talking about it and thanked me. So maybe this can help other people. Um, it is now 9.30 at night. And I have only been up since about after a little after five o'clock tonight i spent all day in bed because of my depression i can feel when i have these bouts of depression they sort of it's really strange it's hard to explain i lay in bed um in one position and i my mind tells my body to move and i know i can physically move but i my mind won't let me and i can't move i don't want to move and i think i know then okay my depression is coming on i i want to cry i want to you just feel numb and you feel like not moving and it's just a terrible feeling so I wanted to do this series on what I'm gonna to try to do to help myself I'm um, I do want to say I didn't say this I don't think on my last video because there's a lot of stigma attached to it I do see a psychiatrist so for those of you who left comments that I should get help and things I do see a psychiatrist I have seen a psychiatrist now for I was just thinking I think I've saw her for about a year now and it varies. I see her either one, every one to three months, depending on how I'm doing. I have an appointment this Friday to see her, which we'll be just talking about this. The last time I saw her, I was doing really well, and I didn't think I needed to see her for about three months because my other um, other doctor, my regular family physician, had put me on Neurotin or Gabapentin, which is a medication they usually give people for pain or effects of having neuropathy. I do have polyneuropathy, which is multiple nerve damages in my lower body. And I can't feel, so I don't have the pain anymore. But I also, from my neuropathy, have shaking spells where I will shake on the inside and on the outside um, like this. So the gabapentin neurotin was given to me for that reason. But a pleasant effect it had was it really helped my mental stability and uh, depression and anxiety. And when I talked to, I saw my psychiatrist after he prescribed that and I told her how I felt she said yes sometimes we do prescribe that for anxiety and depression so I didn't I said I feel so great I don't think I've seen you for three months well about a month in it takes about a month for your body to get adjusted to medication or to release it out of your system um, when you stop taking it I started having depression again because I think my body got used to the dose so I'm seeing her Friday hopefully she can either do something about that give me a larger dose take it over um, and take over the prescription instead of my doctor doing it because he's giving it to me for one thing and then she would have to give it to me for another thing and I see him Monday so hopefully that will work but right now um, on a live I had mentioned a, book, a couple books that really helped me but this is one on depression I didn't upload that live I have it over in private video settings so one book I got is called The Upward Spiral this is by Alex Korb he's a PhD I have started reading this book but being depressed you don't feel like doing anything so we're going to talk about this. This is I'm going to set some goals for myself. But this is a, a very highly recommended by therapists. I'm going to take this with me Friday and tell my doctor that I am reading it. This I didn't want a book that was just a self-help book that tells me, oh, you know, get happy and all that. When you have depression, it's not about happiness. I think, it, like I said before, in this society, we use too much of the word I'm depressed when you're not happy. It's so much more than just being not happy. It's feeling numb. It's feeling worthless. It's feeling just bad. So this is um, a book that's not just a self-help book. Oh, I gotta pause. Okay, sorry, I had to pause for a minute. I didn't just want a self-help book. I want a book that explains to me what's going on in my brain that is the neuroscience behind depression. And this is a book that tells you not only the neuroscience, it gives you skills to help reverse the course of depression one small change in your life at a time. Now, I haven't been reading it because, like I said, when you're depressed, you don't want to do anything. So one thing that I know that personally for me, and you might take this, um, I don't know if it would help you or not, but 
I've been, um, what helps me is making lists. And I don't do that a lot often, often now, and I think I've got away from it, and I should get back to it. What I mean is, four years ago, I was going through a divorce, and I had to move back home into a travel trailer. I couldn't work. Um, my shoulder was all messed up. I had to get surgery. All these things were happening to me. So much was happening to me that every little thing that I had to do or accomplish in that day from something as small as make a phone call to brush my teeth, I had to write it down. And then check it off. And that really helped me. And everything I did, I wrote down. Like, I made the phone call to my insurance company to say, and I got my insurance changed. And I dated it. And I signed it. And that really helped me with my memory. And because with this depression, too, I'm noticing that I can't remember things. Some things that my mom will tell me two months later, I don't, I don't remember what she said. So I've got, I bought this little journal. And I bought this a long time ago. And it's just at the Dollar Tree. You get these for a dollar. And I was going to use it for Bible notes. And I started using it for Bible notes. But I'm also, I'm going to use it to make my list. I've got to stop staying in bed all day. That's the one thing. It's an easy way out for me to say I'm depressed and just lay there. I've got to make a time to get up. So my time is sticking in my head in the morning. I want to get up by 10 o'clock every day. That may seem late to you guys. But to me that's early when you're somebody who I know I'll probably be up till 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to write in here the list. Get up, 10 o'clock. I'm going to check it off. Brush teeth. Check it off. Go to the bathroom. I know you guys think this might this is ridiculous, but I'm checking it off. You know, I'm gonna put prayer on there. Check it off. Eat. Check it off. And this will and then this will keep me focused on making small changes that will help me to get back control of my life and and the depression might still be there. I'm not saying it's gonna go away, but it will help me get control of my environment to where I can better focus on getting better. I'm not just relying on a psychiatrist to give me pills. I never mentioned I went to a psychiatrist before because I was very much against going to psychiatrists all my life because of my faith. was a lot of it because it was looked down upon even to go to medical doctors that you should have enough faith to pray and let God take care of it. I still believe that way. But there's also, I go to a doctor for, if I had a heart problem, I go to a doctor. If I needed surgery or broken bone fixed, I go to a doctor. Something's wrong with my head. So I go to a doctor who specializes in the problems that are wrong in your mind. I don't see a psychologist or a counselor to where I talk. I see a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist who can prescribe medication, who can tell me the science behind it, who can help me. So, because I truly believe this is a chemical balance in my brain. So that's what I'm going to start doing. And I'm going to start vlogging. Um, tomorrow morning I'll get up and I'll vlog at 10 o'clock. How I feel, how much sleep I got. You might be interested in these videos you might not hopefully they'll help somebody hopefully you'll understand oh, maybe a little better I think I'm going through this I really understand people better now with mental illness and hopefully to help you too thanks guys bye